hi there welcome to my channel if it is your first time here hi my name is florence welcome we do fashion beauty and lifestyle content so if that is something you're interested in make sure to hit the subscribe button down below as well as switch on your post notifications that will notify you every time i upload a video and if it's not your first time here you come back to watch another video welcome back and yeah thank you so much for tuning in once again in today's video i'm gonna be reviewing this beautiful 16 inch a double drawn frontal wig as well as an installation so yeah this is gonna be like a beginner friendly installation because i am very much a beginner if that's something you're interested in make sure to keep watching so i recently okay a few months ago i purchased a double drawn uh frontal unit um this is 16 inches i'll put all the specs for the wig and about around that time this whole thing of double drone double drone dd dd i was like what is this wig and yeah so i'm gonna be structuring this video into four parts we're gonna have uh the first one what is double drone second one is which one is better between double drone and single drone third what do i prefer and then the final part we will be installing the wig so what is a double drone and i'm sure just like you you thought that double drone means that the hair is better quality and i was so shocked when i found out that is actually not the case double drone refers to the method in which the bundle is uh, acquired or made um single drone means that the hair is drawn once they get the hair from a donor and it's drawn out once where they take out like the really short hairs whereas double drawn the hair is drawn twice if not more essentially what they do is they draw out the specific length of a hair so in this case with this unit they drew the hair twice or maybe three times depending on the bundles and then they took out certain percentage of 16 inch length hair and then they filled it in with a few different inches so with double drawn hair it means that between 70 70 percent of the hair is 16 inch i'm gonna speak specifically to this one about 70 percent of the threads the hair strands are 70 uh are 16 inches and then the rest is shorter lengths and then super double drawn is when 80 or more percent of the hair would be 16 inches in length and how you can usually tell the difference between the different bundles is the thickness of the hair a single drawn the bundle is thicker at the top and it narrows it thins out towards the bottom and then a double drawn generally it's thick majority of um the bundle all the way through to the to the bottom so with this one as you can see it's thick all the way to the bottom however not all the hair is 16 unit 16 inches but majority of the bundles or the wig is 16 inches and i'm just gonna show you here just gonna look for a short strand you can see these ones they're not necessarily 16 inches because they come all the way here but that's basically the general idea of double drawn synthetic hair rainy hair human hair can have um double drawn wigs or bundles but it's just the method in which they are made i guess and and i feel like in south africa they were actually pushing double drawn wigs as if they are better quality and that is actually not the case so yeah that is actually essentially what a quick youtube search <laughs> told me about double drawn wigs or bundles now as i mentioned this unit is a 16 inch double drawn frontal um i'll put up the specs of the wig but essentially it is um 13 by 4 frontal it has got two combs on the inside on the side of the head and at the back it comes with an elastic band um just for a more secure fit and yeah there's no specification of whether it was brazilian hair or peruvian hair it just said double drawn hair and as you can see they they mentioned the fact that it's better really good quality or high quality something like that but i'll just put the specs on the 
on the screen for you to see and unfortunately i went on the website this unit in particular is actually sold out but one thing that i can tell you that i don't like about the unit is the fact that the frontal has got um annoyingly short hair which gives like a ridiculous amount of flyaways that is one thing that i would say i do not like about the unit but i guess if that's something that was going to be a big deal for you as well you wouldn't need to stress about it because it's sold out but you can check i'm sure your favorite um hair vendor has got a, has got double draw units because as i mentioned they are pretty popular in south africa right now so what is better between a single drone and double drone honestly it all depends on what you prefer after learning about what a double drone unit is or bundle i prefer both and i would say depending on the style or the look that i'm going for i like the look of double drawn bundles on bobs i feel like it even gives them like that nice flowy fullness and movement but when uh, looking for something that's more natural looking a single drawn unit like for longer hair i don't know for me i don't see the issue between either one of them it would just depend on the look that you're going for obviously if you want fuller hair you will gravitate more towards double drawn units but also be in mind that double drawn units tend to be more expensive than single drawn so yeah N neither is good or bad it just depends on the, your preference and the look that you're going for so now that you've heard all of that let's get into the installation as you can see i've already cut out the um, the excess lace and the ear tabs and guys i would highly recommend that you get uh, a mannequin head so that you'll be able to style the wig what i did here is i moved all the hairs at the back because when you have hairs like you see these flyaways if they get stuck on the front and they're not moved back they can potentially give you a messy install if i can put it like that so if you're able to make sure that you style your wig on your on your mannequin head that's basically my tip and obviously i would also highly recommend that you get your hair customized i got my hair customized somewhere else but if you're able to please customize your hair where you are buying it just to already tick off um a few hurdles that you might have if you buy the hair and you get it somewhere else customize i've seen people complain about units after they get it customized somewhere else they talk about balding and whatever so just have the person you're buying from handle the customization but yeah i was not able to so i took a risk there but don't take that risk get it customized where you bind the hair just to yeah minimize some problems so i'll be installing my hair using the glamour glue this is my absolute absolute favorite it's not messy i just prefer using the glamour glue like it, it's easy for me in comparison to um the ghost bond so yeah i'll just be using the glamour glue i've got rubbing alcohol in here i'll be using the spritz to melt in the lace afterwards i'll be using mousse as well just to help with styling also what's this wax stick also for styling and i've got some powder in here which i'll be putting on my frontal just to help with um the melting of the lace oh an elastic band where's my elastic band okay an elastic band as well so yeah let's get straight into the video i'm gonna be fast forwarding this point on but i'm gonna be doing a voiceover because in real time it's gonna be like a 40 minute video and nobody wants to watch a 40 minute long um wig installation so yeah let's get straight into the installation with rubbing alcohol, you're going to remove any oils where you're going to be placing the glue. I personally do three layers. Make sure that every layer is dry. Make sure to clean up as you go because glamour glue is a bit runny. So I just put on my third layer and as you can see, it's ready for installation. So I'm just going to place my wig. This is something I actually should have done before uh, spraying the glue. But just for future reference... <laughs> Put your wig on before you spray on the glue so that you can know exactly how, like the precise placements. Okay, so now I have the wig in place. What I prefer to do, what I've realized is sometimes, sometimes I get the middle wrong. Instead of putting the wig down from the middle, I start from the side and work my way to the other side because I've made sure that I cut the wig um, 
perfectly to fit my head so i start from one side and finish on the other side so i'm i would suggest that maybe that's something that you should try just to make sure that you don't find that the side the lace is a bit too long uh in comparison to the other side now i'm gonna use a comb just to press it down See here, I always have a problem with my ear tabs, so I'm just gonna apply extra glue on that side before putting the end. So now I'm gonna put on the elastic band just so that it sits, and then I'll come back, I think like 30 minutes later. I like folding my elastic band. I feel like it been so thick, there's really no need. So I'm just going to fold it in half. Yeah, so I'm going to leave this on for 10 minutes while it does its thing. Please make sure that the glue is dry before you put on the elastic band because it's going to do things that you don't want it to do. So make sure that the glue is dry before the elastic band. And yeah, I'm going to let this sit and wait until I get a headache. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm going to wait for like um, maybe 10 minutes or so. And then I will come back and we will continue. So we're now going to remove the elastic band. Just try, when it does this, just pull down. And then it's going to stretch out and then it's going to let loose. okay there's a bit of cleaning up that i need to do as you can see there's a bit of a white cast i feel like maybe if you're able to just find garden not a microfiber you see like a dry um baby wipe or a face wipe i think that would be much better because with this it tends to leave little pieces of cotton so now that i have finished with the clean up i'm gonna go in again with another layer of um glue and then i'm gonna set it and then i'm gonna take my brush and just brush the hairs back because as i mentioned we want to avoid having any hair stuck on the frontal I'm just gonna push this forward in like this. It would really help if you've got like um, a hair dryer so you can just blow some cool air while you're busy doing this. But this, like anything that can bring out cool air, will also help. okay so before tying it down i'm gonna clean up once again just to get rid of the excess glue okay so now what i'm gonna do is melt in the lace and as i mentioned i'm gonna be using a powder that's like a shade darker than me just to um, put on the frontal before I put on the spritz and from what I've been hearing is make sure that you put a powder product because when you use like a um, liquid oh I'm sorry when you use a liquid product it usually has oil and that can loosen up the glue and you don't want to do that so just use a powder and cover up i'm using um, a, con a contour powder and as you can see it has already 
um kind of like melted the lace i'm gonna go in with the spritz to further melt the lace i'm gonna spray it on my finger just so i can control where it goes is kind of like a glue as well but i think it's a bit lighter and then i'm gonna fan it down for this final step what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lay it down with a silk scarf so just make sure that it is fully dry so here I've got a silk scarf. You can even use a pantyhose. It's just that this one, I did not cut it properly. So when I remove it, this stays behind. So you can use like a silk scarf or a pantyhose to do the final melt. And then, yeah, so while this is melting, let me go get ready and then I'll be back with my final. Thoughts. Okay guys, so here we are at the end. I'm just quickly gonna remove the silk scarf so we can see the hair. Okay. Okay, this is happening because it was not actually properly dried up when I put it. So you wanna make sure that you avoid doing that. I'm just gonna put a dollop of um, glue but yeah guys this is the end of the video this is how the hair looks um i just put some some hair mousse to push the hair back here we are and yeah so my final thoughts on the wig um as i mentioned the only thing did I mention that the only thing that I don't like is that the frontal has got like way smaller hairs and I don't like that. And but apart from that, I like the fullness of the hair. And I don't know if it's just me or what, but I noticed that this unit, my the double drawn frontal, this one, compared to my single drawn unit, this one seems to tangle a bit more because I find that I need to constantly comb it. I don't know, I don't know what that is about in comparison to single drawn maybe the thickness is making it tangle a bit more at the back and but yeah it has got some nice movement the hair has got some nice movement however i feel that it kind of like gets messed up a bit quicker maybe it's the quality of the hair vendor which i went to but yeah that's it for me guys i really hope that you enjoyed the video please let me know your thoughts comment down below if you have a double drawn unit and what you think about it or if you will be trying a double drawn double drawn unit and yeah i'll catch you in the next video bye